I've logged into SharePoint 2010, which is up to Share DCC previously installed and configured. The first thing I'm going to show you is to create a new document number. I select number allocation, which will take me to the new document number allocation site. Here I will choose click here to generate a new document number. The new document number form will appear. This form is configurable depending on the construction of your document number requirements. I will now fill in the title for the document I'm creating. I'm going to select a discipline code from the drop down list. And I'm going to select a document type. I can just type in some characters if I know the document type or the discipline code I'm looking for. And you can see that the number is being constructed here. I could select a format or I can allocate a block of numbers. In this case, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'll now click Save and your DCC will allocate the next available document number based on my selection of discipline code and document type. I'm now going to approve uh, or reject this document creation. So I'm going to select list from this list left hand menu and I'm going to select numbers here. And you can see my new document is uh, at the bottom of the list and your DCC has generated the next number in the sequence. And if I look across here you'll see that the document is pending approval. So I'm going to select from the drop down here saying approve or reject. In this demo I'm going to select approve and click OK. You will now see that the document has, has been approved. By doing this your DCC will copy the template and place a new document in the correct structure in SharePoint based on the engineering document type and the discipline code. If this structure doesn't exist, then your DCC will create the structure. I'm going to navigate now to the work area, where in this case a word version, so it's engineering, design change, and you can see that the word version of the document has been placed in the correct location. This work area is the location where the document editing will take place. At the same time, another version of the document has been placed in the register area with no content. And you can see it has a special symbol next to it. This is the area that once a document has been edited and issued that the user will uh, go to this area and get the latest version of the document. That allows the author still to continue to modify the document in the work area and when required he will send it for issue and the, the updated version will be placed here. Note that uh, your DCC doesn't have to have a work area or register and your DCC is flexible enough to fit into your work practice. I'm now going to send a newly created document for this issue. So I select send document for this issue. And I'm given a configurable uh, option for the reason for issue. I'm going to say I'm going to issue it for an interdiscipline check. And you can see that your DCC has automatically associated 
interdiscipline check with the revision code N. I could uh, send it automatically to create an internal transmittal. If we have a distribution matrix uh, configured in the system for recipients, when I, when I issue this, it would automatically create a transmittal and send this out to the recipients. I'm going to click Issue. And you can see that I've been given a, a screen letting me know I have it successful. I'm going to click Close. And as I said before, this has now been issued to the register area. So if I go back and look in the register area, you'll see that our previously uh, unassigned uh, document type has now got the Word file issued on top of it. And if I look at the properties, you'll see that your DCC has filled in the properties automatically. 